returned? Did last year feel just being able to stay healthy and to produce at the level you did? I mean, it's kind of been one or the other. Mm -hmm. It's been an issue at times for you in your career, but to yeah. be able to you know, stay healthy all year and, and pitch as well as you did, how satisfying was that? It was, it was very satisfying. You know, I, I put in a lot of work uh, coming back from my, you know, Tommy John in 17, 18, you know, 19, I had the loose bodies, things like that. I felt like those were a little uncontrollable, but, you know, I tried to clean up my arm path, clean up my, just, just my mechanics on everything, whether I'm lifting or, or throwing. And, uh, you know, I'd use a, a, one of those connection balls to kind of shorten my arm path a little bit. And I felt like just getting the ball out of the glove has been a big, a big, uh, you know, contribution to staying healthy. And then our medical staff is unbelievable. You know, they stay on top of us. I feel like Without those guys, I would, you know, I'd probably be hurt again. But you know, they've done a tremendous job of keeping me healthy. Same with AC and like controlling the innings and the outings because, you know, I have a hard time saying no, like I'm done. You know, especially when I feel good out there, you got the adrenaline going, and you know, I feel like AC's done a great job of keeping me healthy. Nate, how much did not knowing exactly when spring training would start affect what you were doing in the offseason? It was tough. You know, I mean, it was similar to COVID. I felt like it was. Uh, bless you. <laughs> we had. Uh, Going with COVID and trying to figure out when we were going to start, I feel like that was almost like a, almost like a test run for this coming up. But I feel like nobody really knew when we were starting. You know, there were talks, and it felt like we were making progress, and you know, we'd be starting soon, and then it was shut down and back to square one. And you know, you really didn't know. And then we ended up signing, and I feel like everybody was kind of caught off guard when everybody, you know, when we had said, you know, we agreed to the deals. But uh, I. Went about it like I normally would, waiting to start spring training, and then treated that first, you know, month as if we were here. You know, I try to keep on that same routine of throwing every five days, a light bullpen, a heavy bullpen, and uh, you know, unfortunately, I wasn't able to face batters. I had like the dummy in the box, and uh, you know, throwing with Connor Wong, so it's like I had a nice catcher, nice feedback. You know, he knows my pitches and things like that. So, I mean, we were able to get after it, and you know, I, I feel really good coming in. But you know, I feel like now it's you know, you got to be. Usually you have a little wiggle room if you're feeling sore or something like that, but now it's like you got to make sure you're on top of everything. And it's, I don't know, it's almost like not a normal spring training because you want to make sure you're careful. It's kind of like you're towards the end of spring training, but you're, you're just starting. So you got to be careful. You out of today, could you take that into a game? Is that the plan? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I felt really good today. I felt like I commanded all my pitches really well. I've been working on a slider this year, so I'm hoping I'll be able to, you know, continue that facing batters and things. Have you been told when you might take your grapefruit league? Uh, Friday. Go. Friday. And can that be like two innings to start or just one? Or? I think that's the plan is to go for two. You know, I, I had two innings out there uh, up and down, and I felt really good. Um, I was probably built up to, I, I had done like four or five simulated innings back home. Again, there's no batter, so the adrenaline's not as high as I'd like it, but I felt like I was able to accomplish what I wanted to do back home. And you're first. one of a you know, handful of guys here coming into your final contract. Mm -hmm. How do you do free agency approaching? Would you welcome extension talks this spring? Would you put a deadline of opening day so you're not distracted? How, how do you do the whole thing? Um, I mean, I talked to my agency a little bit about it, and it's just, you know, I'm very open to, you know, staying here with the Red Sox. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been in this situation. I usually try not to let, try not to focus on it. You know, again, I want to just go out there and focus on what I have to do. And as long as I take care of my business out there, you know, my agency will be able to handle everything else. I haven't said anything yet. I mean, obviously, I'd be very open for it, um, but I haven't, I haven't talked to him or anything. Everything it seems so busy right now. I'm just trying to make sure again, focus on the little things, the things I have to do and control, or the things I have to do and the things I can control. And uh, right now, it's just trying to get the innings under my belt and face as many batters as I can. What do you see your pitch count uh, today? Now we'll be um, over today. Uh, I'm not sure. I think we're going to go two innings. So I would assume at least 30, 45 pitches. No, in the regular season. Oh, I would. I mean, I'd, I, when I looked, when I mapped it out, I'd be built up to, I, I would say, 100 pitches. Each start, you know, we usually go up by 15 pitches, and if we got two innings, I think I'd have be able to get four starts in down here. But that's what I was talking about before. It's like there, there's not much wiggle room before. You know, it's like I felt like we'd be. A weekend, six days, and then six days, six days, five days. Now it seems like it's every five days. We got to be ready to go. How good did it feel? Oh, sorry. How good did it feel just considering the lockup, considering all the uncertainty? You're back on the mound, yeah. facing live guys. 
It was really nice. It was really nice being able to see all the guys and just, you know, get their feedbacks, you know, when I'm throwing my pitches, see their swings, their reactions to the pitches. Um, you know, in the offseason, like I said, I was facing the dummies, the, like the plastic batters or whatever, and, I mean, you're not going to get a reaction out of those guys. It's just for me and Wong and uh, to see them swing, swings and misses, soft contact, hard contact, you know, it's nice to see. And just being able to face the guys again, it's, it's fun being back out there working together as a team. There was times last year you changed your tempo on the mound, mm -hmm. worked faster, slowed it down. I, you're a completely different pitcher than a guy like Rich Hill, but how much mm -hmm. did you learn maybe talking to him about things like that? Always. You know, I feel like you can always learn something from somebody. You just got to hang around them. Um, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to picking his brain, all, all the guys, all the new guys, you know, see how they do things in other organizations, you know, what we could do better over here, things like that. So I'm very excited to be able to work with him. You've always been a guy who can throw hard. Do you feel like the last couple of years you've sort of found your level in terms of being a pitcher and, and kind of setting things up? Yeah, in a way. Um, you know, there's times like where I really try to step on it and, you know, rely on the fastball. But now with, with all the pitches that I have, being able to rely, rely on those and really just try to mix the speeds around, it's, it's helped me out a lot. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's huge. Uh, like I said, I tried to follow it all the way up. And I mean, we really only had it up until spring training and we didn't have anything else. So it's um, from that point, I just tried to rely on, you know, the way I've done things in the past and the way all the other spring trainings have been ran and try to go every five, six days. And then as the, it seemed like the luck I was going to continue, I was like, I kind of moved it back to every uh, seven days, you know, just because I didn't want to do too much too early. I have a tendency of, you know, doing that. So I wanted to make sure that I'd be pacing myself and be ready to go when the season started. Nice spell. Well. Done. Perfect. I just talked to you in person. I know, right? <laughs> maybe tomorrow, maybe ninja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.